This is not a success story. This is a story of transcendence. A Jenga triangle that occurred that let me hit the tip, however briefly. Much like the food pyramid, the top is where all the sweetness resides. I'm no longer at the top of the mountain, but I remember the rest. I mostly focus on portraitures. Um, I don't know why, maybe it's the only thing that really interests me. And mostly women, because, well, I don't know, women are just way more aesthetic than men. I guess I do like women with big noses. <laughs> I like big hands a lot. I use my own hands a lot in a lot of paintings. I've just become aesthetically obsessed with a certain person. And, I don't know, it's very much like falling in love. Quit my fucking career at IHOP. But luckily, I moved into a house that went into foreclosure. It's pretty much the best thing that's ever happened to me, which bred my desire to paint and to become an artist. I became completely productive painting most of my waking hours. And that through the sheer volume of paintings, it helped me get recognized in the art community in Orlando. I went from pretty much barely having any shows to having lots of shows. <laughs> and also my paintings have been selling a lot better now. I mean, they're better too from putting hours and hours and hours and hours and hours, and hours into them. I love those paintings. Colors, I love colors. Yeah. These are definitely I like my job now, but ultimately, I want to go back to the days of the Catherine House. You know, be hungry, be passionate. The Catherine House enabled me to know what I want to do with my life. You know, maybe it's not the best route to be a painter. You know, it's not like I'm ever going to be rich. But like knowing what you want to do with your life, it's a blessed.